Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Beyond. That's right, folks, we're back in our Beyond world. We're doing some modded Minecraft, doing all the cool things. Thank you so much to everybody for the support from last episode. Had a great discussion about these uh, uh, about these uh, um, auto crafting towers that we've got behind us. Um, uh, a few of you were talking about how they would work, and some of you were talking about how they would work, and they end up actually working out pretty well. And what we found is that there is actually a bug in the uh, Applied Energistics mod that uh, if you attach certain types of cables to the, uh, uh, to the middle uh, molecular assembler, the one that's buried down there in the middle, the one that I don't have connected to anything right now, it can cause a problem with channels not getting all the way to the top of this thing, but mine is, seems to be working just fine because I have that air gap right there between the, the dense cable and the molecular assembler. Um, and I, you know, so I've got everything kind of jacked up one block, uh, which I didn't really plan that way. It just was something that worked out better the way that we, uh, the way that we were building it when we built it. And, and I'm glad that I did because now, uh, when I upgrade to the newer version of the mod pack, this thing should work, uh, just fine. <clears throat> um, Sorry about my voice, a uh, little bit of an allergy problem. Ran out of allergy meds yesterday, and so I gotta, after we get the recording done today, I gotta run over to the local pharmacy and, uh, and pick some stuff up so that, uh, so that I can stop having the runny nose and the scratchy throat and all that good stuff. But, um, but yeah, we, uh, these things are working great. I've been working on a lot, of uh, a lot of auto crafting recipes. If you come down here to my molecular interfaces, we have 64 of them, and I have been uh, pretty busy <laughs> adding, uh, adding patterns to them. So I've almost got, I'm almost to the point where I've got two patterns in every single, uh, every single one of these. So about, you know, about half of them have two patterns. The other, the rest of them have, uh, have one. <clears throat> but today, what are we going to do? Well, today we're going to try and get some nether stars. Um, but in order to do that, we need to make a few things. We need to make some of uh, this, uh, some reinforced obsidian, right? So let's come over here and obsidian, right? I put in a pattern for reinforced obsidian. Reinforced obsidian is um, obsidian, iron, dark iron bars, pulverized coal, and dark steel. Well, you need the iron, the dark iron bar, uh, the iron and the and the coal, and I think it's silicon to make the uh, the dark steel. Um, so you need dark steel, dark steel ball, or dark, yeah, dark steel, dark iron bars, and obsidian to make that reinforced obsidian, right? Um, I think. It's, it's, it's something like that. But as you can see, we're running low, we're running very low on obsidian. And so we need to have a way to get a steady stream of obsidian. The, uh, the, the builder miner that's in the, uh, the mining dimension, it's doing okay. I mean, it gets us obsidian from time to time, but it's not getting us enough. So we need to do something to get more obsidian. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna build a void resource miner uh, and put that over in our, uh, over at the end with our solar array and our void ore miner. Um, <clears throat> so I made a couple of things. First thing we want to do is we want to get our book. So we've got a book here about uh, the environmental tech mod. Oh, and there's something else I want to show you too. Uh, special, special thanks to Jace Marsh, who, uh, uh oh, where's our environmental tech book? Is it, oh, is it in here? Might be in here. Uh, boom. Yes. Okay, cool. So we'll take a look at that here in a second too. But we, uh, we also had a discussion about how to get um, pure fluid, or not pure flux crystals, but regular old flu flux crystals. The old standby was this, okay? Some kind of dropping device, uh, an interface to tell it what to drop, you know, to transition the, the materials into it, and then it drops it down into the water. And of course, uh, redstone quartz and charged certus quartz, when you drop them in water, they make flux crystals. And then you have a, uh, 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 a vacuum chest of some kind or a vacuum hopper set to pick up just your flux crystals. But he said, this uh, Jace Marsh said, well, what about the, what about the, uh, the, the chamber, the crystal growth chamber? Hmm, that's a possibility. I don't know if that's going to work or not. So I did this. I did redstone, quartz, and charged. It makes crystals. Look at that. That's amazing. It makes crystals. It works like a charm. So what we can do is we can come right over here to the import bus and we can tell it to go ahead and import those because those are something that we want. How about that? So now we can just set up a pattern, which I should have right here in uh, this thing right here. There it is. So we take this pattern right here and we put it over here in the, the uh, interface on the growth chamber and we should be able to make pure 
fluid, or not pure flux, but regular old, that's not it, that's not the pattern, we want this. We'll be able to make encoded our uh, regular old flux crystals. So I can tear this thing all apart, don't need that, sweet. Okay, now, let's take a look at this book. In order to make the void ore miner, that'd be this thing, not, not the ore miner, sorry, the resource miner, that'd be this thing, you need a, uh, a tier one resource miner controller. That's pretty easy to make, we'll do one of those. Um, you need 20 machine bases, 24 structure blocks, two laser cores, and a partridge, no I'm sorry, and a clear lens or any colored variant. Now I'm not sure if we're going to do the colored variant at this point in time, uh, mostly because um, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> the other thing is is that um, if you do the colored variants, then it kind of perf it kind of puts a preference on certain types of ores, and I kind of want everything, well, ores and resources, and I kind of want everything. So I'm not too worried about one thing over the other. And I went ahead and set up some uh, uh, some recipes for this stuff. So it says, what does it say? It said that we needed to have. Uh, 24 structure blocks of tier one or above. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get uh, structure blocks. We've got, so we should have some hardened structure blocks in here. Uh, Mod factory gray, where is it? I did put the recipe in here, right? Yeah. So here's our structure blocks, tier one. It said we needed 24 of those, so 10, 20, four. Go. Says that everything should be ready. Go ahead and make them and it should give us those 24 blocks, right? The other thing that it said that we needed was, uh, uh, <clears throat> oops, sorry, sorry about that. Again, allergies, giving me a fit this morning. We need 20 machine bases. Oh, I didn't make a pattern for the machine bases, I don't think, so uh, machine, no, I did not. So we need machine bases from environmental tech. Uh, that's a machine chassis, uh, basalt machine base, we want the, hardened machine base. So let's go ahead and see if we can do those. Iron bars, gold nuggets, and this. Uh, okay, so we need, we have everything we need there except for the uh, hardened stone. Hardened stone, that'd be this. Go ahead and make me one of those, please, if you'd be so kind. Thank you. Put that in there. Now we got this recipe. Cool. Go ahead and put that in here. Scrolling down like a boss. There we go. Uh, all right, so that so, so now we can make those. Uh, it said that we needed what four of those, right? Or was it twenty? Might have been twenty. So resource miner, twenty. Twenty machine bases, two laser cores. So twenty machine bases and two laser cores. Uh, let's just do this at environmental. So we needed twenty of these. Uh, oh, we need to teach it how to make iron bars. We can do that. So close, uh, iron, right, no, nope. dang it, iron, we've got 14,000 iron, so that's easy peasy, rice and cheesy, right? There's a pattern for iron bars, cool. Put that over here, whoops, put that over here someplace, there we go. Now we should be able to tell it to make this, uh, we want the, uh, it was the machine base, right? Yeah, so we need 20 of those. Yep, cool, awesome. And the other thing that we needed was uh, the laser cores. So at environmental, uh, that would be these. That's the clear lens laser cores. It says we need two of those, please and thank you. Uh, oh, I updated the uh, uh, the crafting storage as well. I put a, I made a pattern for a 64k crafting storage. I've got one of those in the system now as well as the 1k. So we're in good shape there. So there's our 20 of those. There is our 24 of those. There is our two of those. Uh, what else did we need? We were going to need for the resource miner a clear lens. So clear lens. Oops, not V. C clear lens. This thing right here. Make. Cool. And we need a controller, a tier one controller. So let's go ahead and make that as well. Uh, so controller, okay, that should be solar panel controller. Did I not make the recipe for that? I made an automatic, I may not have made the recipe for that controller. Solar panel, I got solar panel controllers, but I don't have, hmm. All right, let's make a, whoops, let's go ahead and make a recipe for that one then. 
So controller. We want the resource miner. That would be this one. Can we do that? We need blocks of gold. Okay. So gold. We need four of those. Start. We need to put this in the recipe. I believe they go here. Whoops. One, two, three, and four. And what went down here? So controller. That would be mossy stone. So in order to make mossy stone, you have to have some kind of stone and this. I don't have any vines. We can get some vines. Uh, do I have a pair of shears? No. Do I have a pair of shears in here? No. Uh, iron. We'll just make some shears. How about that? Boom, boom, boom. Let's go get some, let's go get some vines because we've got plenty of them right over here working their way down the inside that we never go down right here. How about this? So let's go ahead and get, we we'll just get a bunch of these. So we got ourselves a little vine farm and we didn't even intend on it that way. How about that? Cool, okay. All right, now let's go ahead and put these in the system and we should be able to make whatever it is we have to make. Uh, let's see, go here that in there like that. Uh, mossy stone. We'll just do mossy cobble, right? I think that's a thing. Cool. Now we should be able to make our controller. That would be this one, right? Void resource miner. Yes. Cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and make the one. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well, we'll make a pattern for it later. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some other stuff together. We're gonna head over to the end and we are going to go ahead and put this thing together and, uh, and get it to start bringing stuff back to the overworld for us. So hang tight and I will see you over there. Okay, so here we are back at the end. I've done a little bit of prep work. I got the cables all strung out for this thing. Um, I am putting it a little bit close, I know. Tier one, uh, the tier one controller or the tier one resource miners and ore miners, they're only seven by seven. Um, and I am putting them essentially one block apart in between, but um, that's because I'm not sure how much bigger these actually have to get. I'm a single player, and so I don't have to supply the needs of, uh, of everyone around me, right? So I may just leave these as tier one. I'm not real sure. Now, you can max these things out, and you can get a ton of things. Um, <clears throat> You know, you can get a ton of resources from them. And we may. We may upgrade them. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. But anyway, like we said, uh, in, in when we built this and built the solar uh, solar array, we just kind of click on this thing, and it starts placing blocks, right? So we'll just go ahead and place these all in, and it should tell us that it's all complete at some point in time. It's not telling us it's complete. Why is it not telling us it's complete? Don't really know. Because it's not. Why is it not? Where... Where are my, hmm, okay, <laughs> where are my uh, lenses and my laser cores? Where'd they go? Where did they go? I didn't put them in here, did I? No. All right, let's go back to the base, see if we can find those. <laughs> I'm sure I made them, didn't I? Didn't I make them? You guys saw me make them, didn't I? Huh, this is weird. I'm not sure exactly why this is going on. All right, so here we are, back at the base. Da da da. Let's go in here. Uh, we want the laser cores. L A S E R. It says I didn't make them. Great. I need two of those. Next. Start. I'm sure I made those. I'm sure I did. I don't know. Anyway, and we also need a lens. So L E N S E. Go ahead and craft one of those. Next, please. Missing glass. Wait, or missing a lens. I thought I told it how to make those. Maybe I didn't. Maybe that's what the problem was. Aha. So, lens. We want some of these. That's easy enough. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Put that in here, like so. And we should be able to make this thing now. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm sure. I'm 100% sure that I had done this before. Anyway, lens. Craft, please, and thank you. And there it is. Great. Let's charge up our uh, teleportation device, our um, uh, charge porter. Go ahead and charge that up. 
so that we can get back easy without having to go through the end portal and uh, head back to the end. Uh, base and dial once. Thank you. Hopefully we don't get attacked by an Enderman when we get there because I need to make a wall right here so that we can't look at him. <laughs> okay, so now we can go ahead and click on this thing again and we should be able to finish it up. So boom, 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 boom. Aha! Void resource miner, miner assembly complete. Sweet. And it should be mining stuff. And so if we come over here to our um, uh, dimensional transceiver, we should see it start to send items, I'm hoping. Sending? Send. Oh, no, we won't because we got to set this up to extract with no redstone signal. Always active. There we go. Whoa. So now we should start seeing items come in here. Yes. Maybe not. There we go. Yep, I saw it. So it's going to go ahead and start getting us a, bu a bunch of uh, uh, a bunch of resources. This one over here is getting ores, which is awesome. It's getting diamond ore, iron ore, all that good stuff. This one here is going to start getting resources like obsidian. So I'm going to go ahead and let this thing mine for a while and do its thing. And, uh, and then when we come back, uh, I should have a steady supply or at least a larger supply of, uh, of obsidian. So we'll be back uh, here after a bit. Okay, so I did notice something. Um, this is not... It's not mining obsidian very fast, and that's that's because you only get like a one and a half or a 1.7 chance of getting obsidian when you're using the clear lens. So I took the clear lens out, and I brought a uh, I brought a mystical purple petal. Uh, we can make from that we can make the mystical mystical purple powder, and we can use that as a dye. And so what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and change this lens. Uh, to a purple lens and with a purple lens you actually get like a five and a half percent chance of getting um, uh, of getting obsidian out of your resource miner so let's go ahead and put this thing back together now complete cool so now it should be getting us it, it hopefully it'll get us some uh, some obsidian with a better chance with better opportunity um, you can also put some upgrades on this thing if I'm not mistaken um, I don't, I don't know if we can do that just yet because I don't know that we have all the stuff we need because I think you need like mica and stuff to make these uh, to make these upgrades. Um, let me take a look at those here real quick. At environmental at environmental tech. So we've got the there's a modifier core, uh, speed modifier, piezo modifier. Um, so that's going to give us modifications from that. Accuracy modifier. Okay, so that's going to increase the accuracy of the void miners. That's I think that's one of the ones that we might want. Um, then we've also got a flight monitor. That's not what we're worried about. Those are all part of these uh, these nano controllers. We're not worried about that. But that accuracy modifier that might be something that we want to look into also if we're looking for specific ores and stuff. But anyway, this thing should give us a little bit better opportunity to get some uh, obsidian. Now I'm going to go back to the base and monitor the situation, and I'll be back with you when we've got enough to start making some of this reinforced obsidian. So this is going to take a while. <laughs> yes, that does say 28 minutes to craft. 31 reinforced obsidian blocks. <laughs> um, it, it actually jumps around quite a bit. It's going to take a little while, though. I had to go out and mine a bunch of obsidian because the resource miner really wasn't keeping up. Um, I'm going to have to do some upgrades on that thing to, to get it to do all of the obsidian that we want, but it's fine. I had a mine, you know, I got a mine here in the overworld. I was able to go down and get quite a bit of obsidian from down there. Uh, and uh, so now we just have to wait for this thing to, to make all these reinforced obsidian blocks. Then we'll go ahead and get them laid out. And I'll show you what we're going to do so that we can finish up our Woot Farm. That's right, the Woot Farm, the Tier 4 Woot Farm. Hang tight. All right, so we're on the last obsidian, the last reinforced obsidian. We'll go ahead and come back in here. Oh, I just canceled it. Oh. <gasps> I just canceled it. I can't believe I just did that. That was really dumb. Um, anyway, reinforced. Uh, we have 34. We just need one more, so that'll be that'll be easy enough to do. Uh, yeah, go ahead and tell it to do that. Go ahead and tell it to do that. So that should take very little time whatsoever. While we're at this, uh, it's nighttime. We should probably sleep. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to the uh, down here to the to the ground. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna come down here to the ground. We're gonna go up in the sky. Uh, what was it going to take to get us an angel block? Um, should be pretty straightforward. It's two feathers, a piece of obsidian, and a piece of gold. I don't have any feathers. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah. I want to get. I want to do this up in the sky because um, if we put it up in the air, actually, you know what? I might have some feathers over here. Do I have feathers over here? Nope. Nothing. 
No, you don't get feathers from chickens when they drop, do you? Uh-huh. I probably have some feather. You know what? I probably have some feathers over here in the other storage system, but it is out of nutrient distillation, and I actually broke all of those conduits, didn't I? Um, yes, and I put everything away. So, can't even really do that. I've been in the process of uh, emptying all of this stuff out. As a matter of fact, we can probably go ahead and do this. Um, yes, we can. Um, we'll go ahead and get this thing set up to do to start emptying this one. Uh, we're going to need one more piece of cable, it looks like. Oops. Yep, we're going to need one more piece of cable. But anyway, we can start getting that thing, emptying that out. We're, um, what I want to do is I want to go up in the air. So I can just do a, uh, I can just do a little dirt pillar or something, and we'll get ourselves a box built up here in the sky so that we can, uh, so that we can kill this, uh, so that we can kill a wither, but not have it do any damage to our base or the ground around us or anything like that. We need a cable. Um, yes, we need some of these, please. We also need some soul sand. Uh, I've got some wither skulls. I went to the uh, to the nether and got some skulls from our uh, wither killer. Uh, but anyway, soul sand. We'll just take all. Of, we'll just take a stack, I guess. Uh, put this over here, like a so. Uh, no, not there. No, don't do that. That is no bueno. Don't do that. Um, let's go here. This will be fine. Uh, eh, yep. There we go. Uh, can't tie into that because that'll run out of channels. But as you can see. We are, uh, you know, maybe you can see, yeah. If you look at the yellow bar up there, you can see that we're actually taking items out of this. Um, so, cool. Let's get some dirt. Uh, dirty, dirty, dirt. Yep, this will work. Dirt will work. Okay, we'll get some dirt. We'll go out here and we'll build ourselves a little, uh, uh, just a little platform to work off of. Uh, we'll just do it right over here. I built myself a little mock-up over here of what I'm looking for. So this thing here is going to be kind of our wither... Uh, wither killer. It has to be. I've noticed that it has to be two blocks tall because it because when the wither when the wither spawns, he rises up, and if he rises up into this one block space, then he can actually escape from the from the wither chamber. So if you make that two blocks tall, once he rises up and gets into that first block space, then he's still blocked at the second level. So we don't have to worry about that. But what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, we'll just go right over. We'll just go right over here. This will be fine, right about yeah. So, down here, we'll just go all the way up as far as this dirt pillar will go. Yeah, we'll go up about, how about, uh, we'll save ourselves about 10 blocks, that way we got blocks to build with if we need to. Okay, so there we go. So we got that, and we got ourselves this uh, reinforced obsidian. Now what we can do here is we're going to go ahead and put block there, block there, and block there, right? So that we'll build the wither on this set of blocks right here. Let's get ourselves some uh, dirt and come up this way. And we want to come up one, two, 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 two. Now we go here, I think. Yes, we do. And we go here. Uh, so let's see. That's going to be. Yep, that's exactly what we want. Go here. Come across the front like this. Get this back. Maybe. This is not working. Let's get our uh, Matic. That'll work. That's better. Uh, come over here and do the same thing. Block there, block there, block there. Dirt block there. That there. Then we can come up too high here and here and here and here. And then we can build this straight across. Um, we'll just put a back on this, right? So boom, boom. And then go like so. Boom, 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 boom. That should work. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. And then across the top here, uh, we just want to go ahead and build a, a three by three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one here. And then we got to get the one more from over here. So let's go grab that real quick. And we should. Uh, we should be in good shape to go ahead and spawn ourselves a wither. And the other thing that we want to do while we're at this is we want to uh, we want to capture one. We want to capture one in one of these prisms, right? So let's see if we can build a prism too. Uh, I've already made a recipe for it. So craft one, please. Everything's available. Cool. Go ahead and make that. So now we can capture ourselves a wither. So we can put him in the wood farm. Uh, let's check on our reinforced obsidian. It should be ready. It is. Cool. So like that. Um, 
yeah, I think we're I think we're probably ready. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll get ourselves the first wither killed, and uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, and I'll do a bunch more off camera. I need to get like eleven of them because I need what we need to make is we need to make a bunch of uh, a bunch of blocks, right? For the for the the structure, we need to make the, all of those different colored blocks from the wood farm, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough. Oh, you know what? I need this. No, we're good. We're good. So we can uh, take our soul sand like so. So we put one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then we get ourselves some wither skulls like so. And we're falling down. So one there, one there, one there. And I'm just going to come right over here like so. And hopefully he doesn't do too much damage. Hopefully. I don't really know if this is going to work or not. It should. There he goes. Can't get out. That's good. Okay, so we got him captured now, so now I just need to go ahead and kill him. I can't seem to kill him. Oh, there we go, we're getting, we're getting hearts now. Okay. Oh, we're killing him, good. Cool, this is working out nice. I'm glad I turned the volume down on this too because he's kind of loud. Sweet. Do we get the heart? Do we get the star? No, I think the star. Oh, there it is. We got the star. Cool. All right. So we got our first Nether star. We got ourselves a place to kill withers, and they don't, and they can't get away from us. I'll probably build a little platform on this thing so that I can, uh, so that I can stand here and, and do some damage to him. But we've got our, we've got this, and this is the thing that I wanted the most because now once we get the woot farm finished. We can actually just spawn these things regularly, and it, we'll just keep getting Wither Star drops, so or Nether Star drops. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get uh, get ourselves some more uh, some more Nether Stars going, so that I can show you what we need to do with those, and I'll uh, I'll be back with you. Okay, so 11 Withers later, <laughs> we have 11 Nether Stars. Um, I did do a little bit of a miscalculation in how many Nether Stars I was gonna need, because here's what we've got. So if I if I pull up Woot, uh, so at Woot, right? Um, we need to, we, we've got recipes in here for just about everything we need. We've got mob controllers, we've got all of the different factory blocks, we've got the, the factory layout block, which by the way we're going to need that. Um, what we don't have is there's one level block left, that's this, this mob factory block for white. And the problem that we have is that we can't, I can't build this, I couldn't build this because I didn't have any nether stars because the recipe calls for this nether star shard, which comes from uh, the, the shard die, a piece of cobblestone, the, the, the hammer, and a nether star. I thought I needed one of these per block. I, I, I don't, uh, I don't, I need this, one of these gives me nine of these shards. So um, I didn't need nearly as many of those um, uh, as many of the nether stars as I had, but that's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up a pattern for this for that shard. So uh, over here in our pattern crafter uh, at Woot, we want to make one of these, right? So let's go ahead and make the pattern for that. Cool. Let's go ahead and make some of these so that I have them in my inventory. And then we're going to go ahead and make the pattern for the white block as well. So there's the white block. You get one of those. You got eight of these factory casings. Boom. Okay, so there's that. And then it also says that we're going to need some uh, some capstones, some tier 4 capstones, which I don't remember if I made a pattern for those or not. I did, because those are made out of emeralds. So now we should have all the patterns that we need to, uh, to make this thing go. So if I put this in here, and I put this in here, we should be able to come over here now. And it, uh, so if we, oh, if we look at the book, let's take a look at the book real quick. If we look at the book, it says that we need to have... Tier four, do, 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 do. tier four, uh, is going to take 13 gray st uh, structure blocks, 14 red, 44 orange, 57 green, and 82 white. That's why I thought I needed so many, uh, so many nether stars because, yeah, it was, yeah, it was going to be bad. But anyway, so we should be okay on that now. We should be okay on the on the tier four capstones. So let's go ahead and see if we can make any of this. Let's let's go ahead and see if we can see if we can make the white stones. Right, the white blocks. We need 82 of these, it says. So let's jump this up to 82. Next, oh, we're missing the hammer uh, because it's in my inventory. I don't know why it puts it in my inventory like that. That shouldn't do that. Let's try. Let's try it now. White stones. 70, 82. 
cool. Everything's there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and craft up all of this stuff, get it all auto-crafted up. Well, uh, when we're done, we should have the all of the gray, red, orange, green, and white um, structure blocks that we need. And then we also should get the, uh, the capstones that we need. All of that stuff is auto-craftable. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft that all up. And when I come back, should have this stuff all laid out and we should be able to put this, uh, put this thing together and uh, start getting Buku Nether Stars. So see you momentarily. Okay, I think we're in good shape here. Um, so what I've done is over here at the uh, at the original platform for the mob spawner slash woot farm slash all of that, I had two over here, as you might recall, two tier ones. I tore those down, uh, and I've rebuilt one right here in the center. Now, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this eventually, but I'm, I think we're going to end up having a few of these because this one's going to be for nether stars, right? So what we need to do is we need to make this up for tier four. So one, two, three, that gets us to tier four, right? And so we need all of these blocks. And as you can see, we've got most of these blocks, if not all of these blocks in our, in our inventory. So let's go ahead and place these, get these things all the way around, right? We'll build this, whoops, that doesn't go there. Give me that back, thank you. Uh, we'll get these all placed and, uh, and then we'll see what we have to do to, uh, uh, to get this thing going to, to build the, or not to build, but to, to spawn the, the withers for us. So there's that one, that one. Uh, this is, it gets so confusing because you're in here, right? And uh, so we need that one, that one, and that one. We can finally get right here. So there's that one and that one. And then we got a bunch over here. So boom, 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 boom. Uh oh, do I have enough? I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have enough. Why do I not have enough? I know I made enough. I am missing, yeah, I'm missing one. No, I think I got them all. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, now they're the green ones. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, get all these blocks placed. Um, I guess we'll just do it on camera because we don't have, it's not that big of a deal, right? It's pretty easy to do. So, whoops, that's not what we wanted. Darn it. Go away, there we go. And one there, one there. So many of these to place, holy cow. There we go. There we go. It gets so confusing in here where there's so many blocks. My goodness. There we go. Okay, that should do that. And then these come up like so. And then this one comes up like so. Sweet. This one comes up also. Okay, got one here we gotta finish up. And then what, one right here, yes. Is that all of them? That looks like all of the green ones. Okay, now we're up to the white ones. Cool beans, this one hopefully will be easier because, well, just because. It's the very outside edge, which is hopefully easier anyway. Yeah, this is cool. I should be able to do the rest of these from the ground now. Okay, that takes care of all of that going around. We'll just build these up like this. Same thing over here. Oh, there are so many. Oh my gosh. Yep, there's all those. Of course, I did know that there was going to be a lot of them because it says that there's eight. Wait a minute. Now, it's supposed to be 82. Why do I not have enough? I had 88. Hmm. I had 88 of those. Why do I not have enough? That's, uh, 
apparently there's something wrong with the with the with the instructions on this thing apparently so one two three four five six i need six more for that one two three four five that's eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen I need 18 more of those. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go make 18 more, and then we should be ready. Whoops. I had them. They were actually in my ME system. I thought I had all of them on me, but that's okay. So here we go. We should be able to finish this now. I've got more than enough. So, whoops, not there. Don't go there. You don't go there. Thank you. There we go. There we go. This one here. Okay, and then the capstones. So one there, one there, one there, one there, there, and there, and then a couple over here. Boom. And one here. Boom. Sweet. Okay, so that should be everything. If I click on that, it says uh, unprogrammed mop controller, and that should be the only problem. So all we need to do now is take and put the, where is it? Where is the prism? There it is. So there's the mob programmed. Everything is good. Come down here, give this thing some power, give it some juicy juice, right? Uh, need some conduits, okay. And that should get it all fired up. So now it should be running, right? It is. We need a chest. Let's go get a chest from over here. We'll get ourselves a chest to have the output to come into. I think I've got a diamond chest in here. Uh, diamond, I do, right there. Cool. Uh, let's go put him back, and we should start seeing our first nether stars. I think we're going to be in good shape here. Uh, those two chests there, that's going to be all of the stuff from the previous farms. So, chest there. Nope, not that. Don't want that. There we go chest. Boom. Got another star? State on. Spawn mobs every... Uh... Yeah, oh, look at that. We're going to get... Oh, yeah, we're going to get... Oh, oh, it's still charging up. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to be charging up for a little while, it looks like. It needs to get uh, up to... 358,000 RF. That's a lot. Let's go and see while it's while it's doing that. Let's go down here and see how much uh, how much power we got coming out of this thing now. Um, not much. This is holding fairly steady. Okay, that's not bad. Apparently, our tier two solar array is doing just fine. Go up here and see if we can get our first nether star in here. Ah, there we go. We're getting nether stars. Oh, baby. It's awesome. I love it, and I hope you loved it too. So, folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and uh, you may get a shout-out, kind of like uh, we did at the beginning of this uh, the episode with uh, with Jace Mars, uh, with all the with the suggestion about um, uh, auto crafting uh, Fluix crystals. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to become a supporter of the channel, you can do that by. Uh, uh, by a number of different means, but probably the most effective is to become a Patreon supporter. And a very special thanks to my Patreon support staff for all of the support that they give. If you want to find out how to be a Patreon supporter, make sure you pay attention to the uh, the little trailer outro video that we'll show at the end of this video. And it, it'll tell you where to go for all of the instructions. But once again, thanks for watching. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. A very special thanks to my Patreon support staff. If you'd like to become a Patreon patron, visit my page at www.patreon.com slash rb underscore plays to find out more details.